we're going to be given the Vargo 52 a whirl here over on Apocalypse. I didn't play much of this map in the prime of the game, but wasn't awful, you know? Definitely worst maps that I can remember. That is, in fact, a guy, and I am going to die. I didn't think that was going to be a guy. We're going to hit a different route. We're going to go this way. Uh, the Vargo was one of those weapons that I preached a lot of simply because it was something new. This came out after... the life cycle of the game like it wasn't an old like a a prime year weapon so i gave them big props for updating the game i think that's the big reason i enjoyed this weapon the more i look at it the more i realize was actually like a very good statistical option fast fire rate fast ttk um but at the end of the day really wasn't too like overpowered just a good aggressive AR option, good damage range, low recoil. You didn't, I don't think I ever made a build that required an underbarrel, to be honest. Oh, dude, I didn't see the second guy. I thought for sure I was about to pop off there. That sucks that I, I lost the, uh, I ended up losing my st my streak there, the hand cannon, because of it. Uh, my teammate is throttling 20 to 6. Are we kidding? You want to know what I really should have done? I should have hit that heart before, or gotten the heart before I hit the hand cannon to make sure I secure, like, all the kills, you know? They Okay, they're not pushing this way anymore. I think they learned their lesson. We got one guy going underneath right here. Another guy. Jump up. Nope, teammate's gonna jump on him. Yes. So it's 29 to 9. My goodness. I wanna push these spawns out. Uh I mean shit, we're frying, but. This is a quick game. You know, you know. I hear one. I don't think that's wall bangable. I'm so stuck. Good job, team. Oh, there's a guy here. Okay, let's go this way. Quickly. Let him go. No, he did it again. Same guy. Same guy, bro. I choked. I simple. I simply choked. Nothing in between it. Ouchie. Sure, you want to challenge me? You sure about that? Okay, dude, same guy. Oh my goodness, this guy's got a beamer on him, huh? Simple. Simple. I don't know if I'm going to have time to even drop the 50 bomb here. I mean, my team is unreal. My team's unreal. Enemy RCXD detected. I'm getting killed by all sorts of stuff, my brother. All sorts of stuff. Now the question is, are they going to push me? I mean, I'll give them, I'll give them credit. They gave it a pushback here. I just don't know, know how much pushback is going to benefit them. Nope, 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 nope. Oh my God, I'm getting fried. What happened? I don't think my team hasn't gotten kills in a minute. I got to stop challenging that way is what I got to do. Can 
Okay, we saw him. All right, we thought. They had one guy who really just knocked me off all my streaks here. I'll give him credit. Okay, this guy's camping. That's simple. That's the guy. He's been killing me. I think that's a sentry gun. I think I'm stuck. Do I hear one? Wait, I did hear one. Just not the way I thought he was going to be. Let's see if I choke this. Hand cannon. Alright. 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 I got the fifty. Nuke's not possible. Nah, it's not possible. That sucks. I mean, it doesn't suck. It's just unfortunate. It's unfortunate. I teed up. I was getting a lot of deaths there. And it costed me at the end of the day. If I stay off my death streak. I stayed off my death streak. I went 100% locking a nuke there. It's still 62 freaking kills in a TDM though. You know, I don't think I've ever really changed my Vargo 52 attachments. So I've made several builds. For example, I made no recoil, max damage, movement, but my go-to build has always remained the same and it's these attachments here. So our suppressor or first attachment is going to be the Groove Suppressor, giving you the ability to stay off the mini-map along with recoil control. You are sacrificing damage range your bullet velocity, but when looking at those statistics there, our damage range is at 66 meters, and our bullet velocity is also very good at 875 meters per second. Not really too much loss, if you ask me. For the barrel, I have the VDV reinforced for both damage range and bullet velocity. That's what really gives it those crazy statistics. For a magazine, I like to use the 40-round mag. As always, this is a preference. Feel free to use whatever you want there. For the rear grip, the Gru Elastic Grab is always to get the most out of your aim down sight speed along with the ability to drop shot and then the KGB skeletal stock is going to increase your sprint to fire speed and aim walking speed so if you guys need to pause the video to copy down these attachments make sure you guys do so make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for me as always I'll see you guys in the next one